Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you what you can do if your keyboard and trackpad has stopped working on your MacBook Air. This one's a 2017. The same thing will apply to other models as well. So the background here is that I did an update to the latest version of Big Sur and since then the keyboard and mouse is not working. Yeah, I know it's not a hardware problem because when I plug in an external keyboard and uh, trackpad everything is working fine so you can see here now the cursor is not moving and I've tried doing all the uh, power reset SMC reset NV RAM reset so if like me you've tried all those things by using a different combination of buttons and it's still not working hopefully what you see in this video will fix it because I've been working on this for hours now and I finally worked out what the problem is so if you have a look here not working nothing's happening on the keyboard. If I plug in the external keyboard, it then gives me access to be able to use the keyboard and the trackpad. So I'm just going to enter in my password and I'm just going to press enter. And you can see now it is actually going to boot up. Now, once it's booted up, it does this thing as well. It didn't used to do that. Once it's booted up, I can use the keyboard and the trackpad fine. But yet when I go to turn it off again and turn it on, I have the same thing where I can't do anything on that login screen only unless I use an external keyboard. Now I found out the problem is to do with file vault. I didn't have that enabled before and since I've enabled it now, I've got problems. So I'm just gonna show you how to get rid of it. So I'm gonna go up to the Apple logo in the top left-hand corner and actually you can see now that the uh, trackpad is working. Apple logo and left click and I'm going to go to System Preferences and I'm going to go down to Security and Privacy and left click. Now as you can see under File Vault, so General File Vault here, it says here there's an option here to turn off File Vault. We're just going to have to go down to the left hand corner and click on the padlock and then I've got to punch in my password again and go to Unlock. Now what I'm going to do is go to turn off file vault and I have to turn off encryption. And it says here decryption pause connect power adapter to resume decryption. So this is going to take quite a while. So we need to plug in the power adapter and then you see it will come up here about one hour 40 minutes remaining but there's not much on this drive here so that time will decrease rapidly as it goes along but obviously your mileage is going to vary depending on what you've got on your drive so i'm going to let that go through it's going to take about five minutes or so on this laptop Okay, so that's now gone through and watch this now. I can take out the USB from the external keyboard, close this down. And now if I was to go to here, I can restart or shut down. I've done this numerous times and every single time I do it, it works or it doesn't work depending on whether file vault is on or not. Okay, and also now when it's gonna work, it takes longer to boot up. And I'll notice straight away that the cursor is in the top left rather than being down here. Yeah, you can see cursor top left and now it's working. Go into password here and you can see it is now working while beforehand it wasn't. So hopefully if you're having the same problem as me, you might not be going around in circles like I was for the previous few hours. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for other videos. Thanks for watching.